Hi guys! Let's add another important publication to our collection of record books and logbooks that you as a navigational officer will have to deal with. It is called NP133C, ENC and ECDIS Maintenance Record. So guys, when you have received the permits and weekly updates and updated your ECDIS you should document your actions in this publication. So, let's quickly go through it and see what there is to do. So, in the first pages you can read about the purposes of the NP133C, like to provide the mariner with an easy method for managing and maintaining all ENC and ECTIS related documentation. As always, I recommend carefully reading what is written at the beginning of these record books or at the beginning of each section of the book, because there are usually clear instructions there about what you should do. So right away, here is a flow diagram that details the actions to be taken on receipt of the weekly updates and during ECTIS maintenance. Here you can see the sections of the book. But let's go further and look at each section. Section 1. Digital Chart Service Certificates. Here you should insert the valid service certificates sent you by your chart provider. Section 2. Schedule A. Here you should insert a printout of the most recent Schedule A that you normally receive with the new permits ordered. This will show which ENCs are licensed for use by the vessel and which base CDs or DVD volumes are required to install them. Section 3. ENC Status. Here you will find a table in which you need to record the date you received the updates. The week number which base or updates were installed, how you received and installed the media, from DVD or USB, the location where the permits are stored on the ship's computer, the dates the media was installed on each ECTIS, comments, usually about the result of the installation, and the signatures of the officer and master. Section 4. Temporary and Preliminary Notices to Mariners and Admiralty Information Overlay Status Here you should record a receipt of the local TNP information source, if any, such as the local notice and its number. The date the AIO received The week number The method of receipt of the AIO, DVD, CD or download The paper TNP notices to Mariners Usually the week number is included here. The date the AIO was installed and compared to the TNP paper notice. The action taken after the AIO and TNP paper notice were compared. And comments, usually on the result of the installation. Section 5. Important service notices the README file. All AVCS disks or downloaded folders with weekly updates contain a README file which includes important safety information that should be read before using the service. Also you can download it from Admiralty website. Here you'll find a table where you should record the date of issue of the README file the initials of the officers, usually all deck officers who reviewed the file. If there are changes, note who, usually all deck officers are notified. And comments, usually regarding the changes, if any. Usually a printout of the latest README file is also inserted here. Section 6. Section 8 of Admiralty Notices to Mariners A printout of Section 8 of the weekly Admiralty Notices to Mariners is usually inserted here and the record of review is entered in the table. The week number Initials of officers reviewed by If any changes, note who is notified And comments, usually concerning changes if any Section 7. Cancelled and Withdrawn ENCs. 
Here you should record information about any ENCs which need to be manually removed from the ECTUS. ENC name, date notified, date removed from each ECTUS. Information on withdrawn ENCs information can be found in the README file and on the Admiralty website. You'll be working with the first seven sections quite often and regularly, so everything needs to be done on time. Section 8. Guide to ECTUS Audits and Inspections The guide provides concise information in the form of a checklist supplemented by short explanatory notes, which identify key issues which can be expected to be examined during any third-party inspection or audit of the onboard ECTUS. Section 9A. ECTUS Installation here you can attach any ECTUS installation information such as a basic line diagram to show the equipment interface with the ECTUS and details of the sensors and their configuration. Some officers also attach various ECTUS certificates here, but most often these certificates are kept by the captain. Section 9b. Maintenance of ECTUS Software. This section is to record periodic ECTUS software maintenance as carried out by the manufacturer or service engineer. Section 9C. Maintenance of ECTUS IHO standards. This section is to record software upgrades due to changes in IHO standards, e.g. the presentation library. Section 9D. Maintenance of ECTUS Annual Performance Check This section is designed to record that the recommended annual checks have been completed. You should fill out the checklist. Section 10. ECTUS Familiarization Training This section is designed to demonstrate that navigational crew have undergone ECTUS familiarization training on board the vessel. Usually the reference to the company's ECTUS familiarization checklist is made here. Section 11. Maritime Cyber Risk Management. This section is designed to record cyber risk management on the bridge. You should make records on a cyber risk checklist, or you can attach a company risk assessment form. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. See you in the next video.